Hey everybody, it's Joel Fry, and this is a hopefully short video on how to get to and use the new Timothy Road Teacher Portal. So I'm going to show uh, the use of a little um, extension in Chrome called Crafty Text to show you where to go. So if you type in, and you should be in your grade team or in a group of folks at least, if you in your browser window up here type in this website, so bit dot ly slash tim portal then you'll be brought to the new portal that I made I'm going to make it look like your view instead of mine and uh, right now there's a few things on it and hopefully it'll grow into something that's uh, very useful uh, for it has everything that you need in one spot um, so let me do a little tour so at the top of the page this is just an image that you can't click on um, but I can see that excuse me we might need little buttons for um, some things that you go to all the time like sub finder or the whatever it's used for finding subs and and other things um, also the school's calendar is um, embedded here so as as things are added it's auto always up to date and at the bottom is a newsletter in uh, the in the newsletter for Timothy Timothy is embedded um, and it's through a s'more and so the newest one will always be on top uh, so you can scroll down there if you forgot where it was in your inbox at the top of the page under teacher links there's obviously teacher links and you can kind of read through these yourself to know what they are uh, only the last one is not active so um, as soon as we have a link for that we'll add it um, so those are some things that you might um, find interesting or you know you go to all the time um, I want you to think of this as your own uh, website portal so as you find things for your grade team or for the school that you think are uh, necessary to be added um, just like the students start page just you know email those things to me I'll kind of collect them and put them in here in a nice and uh, organized manner so you can get to all your resources in one place so that's how you use the portal uh, the second part to this video is how to use the new Google Drive uh, school folders so you know, we wanted to do this earlier but with all the device rollout and everything that's been going on we're kind of doing this in the second full week of school so if you click on the Google Drive school folders from the portal you're gonna see this page with an embedded Google folder at the bottom so because I created the folders all of the grade folders are gonna be shown here in just a second there they are so all the folders are listed here um, what we will do is we'll we'll share these with you as as your job requires and so if you're say a, an EIP teacher for K2 then you would see the EIP folder as well as the kindergarten first and second. And so once we have all those shared out, which should have been before this video is watched by you guys, um, what you'll do, and I'll just use the pre-K folder as an example. Uh, everybody in the room, go ahead and click on the pre-K folder once. And it opens up a little preview. Now, in mine, this says open and drive. That's because I created the folder. Your blue button at the top right should say add to my drive or open in my drive or something like that so I want you to click on that link that blue folder in the top blue button in the top right corner and that'll drop you over or jump you over to drive into the specific folder um, that we have have opened uh, if the link took you just back to drive what you need to do is just look on the left side for the name that we just uh, clicked on so it'll say Timothy 2015-16 and then your grade level so you know, yours might be in the top list because you don't have the parent folder at the very top but you'll have a, a folder there now uh, we know that you have already started working on things so let me take a quick review of how the folders are set up and uh, what we'll show you is how to add the things that you've created into these new folders so that everybody uh, that needs to get them at the school can see them without having to do a lot of sharing. So for example, let's say that you have a, um, a set of lesson plans and I have to use kind of a, a fake folder. But let's say that this 
um, folder is full of the August lesson plans for language arts. Um, what I would do is I would click on the folder so I can see the files that I want to move over here. And then I would also click now yours. You won't have to, to drill down into your folder as much as I will here, but you just want to open the, the correct folder within the Timothy 2015-16 for your grade level area. So I was using pre-K as an example. And let's, I said those were language arts um, plans. So if I open up language arts and uh, I, I can see the lesson plans folder. I'm not clicking on it. I can just see it. Then let's say that this uh, PLC um, LAS or whatever this folder is, let's say that these were the, the uh, lesson plans for the week of August um, 14th. Just click and drag those over to where the lesson plans are and let go. Um, so if you've received other instructions regarding how to organize these, uh, it's possible that um, uh, Kina sent you an email that says, you know, from here forward we'll put the lesson plans in, but you don't have to go back or something. So please refer to her email instructions on, how, on what to move into that area. But that's the folder system. So there's agenda notes and other items. So anything that doesn't fall into the language arts and math or the social, sci social studies and science areas, um, go ahead and drop it in this area. And then within each subject folder, there are two folders. One's for data, which um, you'll be talked through with uh, Pam or um, you know, Amy or anybody that comes in to do that with you. And then also lesson plans. So uh, if you have any questions about it, please let me know. Uh, feel free to email me back. Um, and as, if there's any confusion, uh, we all want to clear that up in the front end so that we don't have anybody lost. So hopefully this was a helpful way to uh, have you take a tour. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this modeling of the flipped faculty meeting. So uh, thanks, and I will see you in the hallway.